Donna, David, Ewan, Andy, and Tracy were all fired on the same day. You can say they were laid off or asked to resign, but really, they were fired. Each of them went home dejected and depressed. The next day, only one of them did something that got them back on their feet and had them working within 30 days. I want to share with you who it was and the 10 things they did. It was David. So number one, what David did as soon as he got home was to beat himself up thinking about all of the stupid mistakes he made. But the next day he got up as if he was going to work. He got that advice from the resource Get Laser Targeted Focus. So number two, David set out to understand why he was fired and what he could have done differently so that he could avoid future mistakes. It wasn't fun going through that exercise, but he had to think about his future. He got that advice from the first fired, last hired book. Number three, David used a to-do list and inspirational sticky notes to maintain his determination to get a better job as soon as possible. He needed to do this to keep from going into major depression. This strategy came from the course, Killing the Dream Killers. Number four, David got in contact with the boss who fired him. He apologized for not being on the same page and thanked him for the opportunity. This may sound strange, but David used this to get another job as you will see in step number nine. He learned this from the course, first fired, last hired. Number five, David signed up with Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr to do micro jobs online. He also signed up on Udemy to get certifications for various trainings, often for free. He was taught to do this in the book, From Resume to Work. Number six, David took what he did with Udemy, Upwork, Freelancer, and Fiverr to update his resume. He did this so that he could show that he was present in the workforce, which is key with employers. He also was taught to do this from the book, From Resume to Work. Number seven, David knew that he wasn't a lone ranger and he needed help, so he did a Google search for career development centers near him. The centers had him send out his updated resume to targeted, relevant job positions. He received this training tip from the resource Laid Off Now What? Number eight, David started to get interview requests from his resume. Before each interview, he would interview himself, paying special attention to what he said on his own resume. David also made sure he studied the job postings as well. He got these tips from the hiring committee. Number nine, when asked about why he left his old job, David told the committee that he was laid off, but since that time, he acquired more skills and had contacted his old boss to apologize for not being ready and to thank him for pushing him to get new skills. Now, the committee was so impressed with what David had done that they offered him the job soon after they received a reference from David's old boss. David learned this strategy from the first fired, last hired course. And number 10, David got the job, but he doesn't allow the job to define him. That's because he knows that 100% of us must leave our jobs at some point. He sees his job now as a stepping stone, so he might as well enjoy the journey. This truism he learned from the daily job transition. So let me ask you this question. What are you going to do when it's time to leave your job? because you must leave your job at some point. 55,000 people are fired in America every day. What if one of them will be you? Are you prepared today for that to happen to you? Are you going to leave your job traumatized or will you have a 10 point 30 day plan like David? Wouldn't it feel better to have this plan in place now so you never have to worry about your transition that will definitely come one day? David went from being fired to getting a better job in less than 30 days, and you can too. I'm going to give you access to all the resources David used, and I will give you access to our upcoming free webinar that will go into more detail than I did here. There will be a button or link around here somewhere for you to click on to start your own 10 point 30 day transition plan. Thanks for watching and have a great day.